understand that, but because he's doing everything right, I'm going to give him the honor of picking the nigga who we gonna have a threesome oh with. Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Today we're gonna react to Sweetie's interview on Respectfully Justin with Justin LA Boy and Justin Combs, where she was asked some spicy question and it's it seemingly led to her and Quavo breaking up. So let's get into the reaction. I got a fetish for cheese. I tell you, you better believe. Who really you headed to G? What's the most embarrassing thing that ever happened to you during sex? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of laugh is that? Let's talk about it. Yeah, what kind of laugh is that? <laughs> Respectfully. Respectfully. Hey, we're gonna drink it in our vibe. Again this Yo, I think it was that kid from New York, that little, that little, the little white boy that that made that like crazy funny, like with the respectfully, like, yeah. And then everyone's using it now. Hey, what's up, it's your boy Judge here, episode two of the Respectfully Justice Show. Yeah. Would you give your man a password to your phone? Hmm? She said, hmm? uh, you see, like right away, red flag. Him happy finally because he you put him through hell. So a threesome, right? Mm, this is a threesome, right, lady? This is what this is what went viral. Okay. Okay. Mm. Make sure you love you. Uh, you, know, you know, I have okay, we got we got respect for me. You know that. I never had some <laughs> shit like this on the boat, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, thanks. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Justin LeBoy. Welcome to episode two oh, it's LeBoy. of Revolt TV. This is the Respectfully Justin Show. I'm the king of toxic. Listen, if you know me, you heard of me, you've been on my page, you know what's going on, you might be toxic yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get into it. I got I'm not going to lie, I never heard of him. This is my first time hearing about him. Never heard of him. But he's blinging, though. He's blinging. Special guest tonight, her name is Saweetie, Saweetie, Sweetie, Sweets, Icy. I don't know what y'all call her. Yeah. It's just my favorite cancer. That's her son. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with cancers. They're good people. Mm -hmm. I got my brother Justin Combs tonight. What's up? Well, welcome. This is episode two on Revolt TV, but we're going to get into it. Any of y'all been to college before? Who went to college here? Tuh. The... All right, cool. You gotta Sweetie go, man. Recently posted. <laughs> Yo, it's all females there. It's all female, it's just two dudes. The bad uh, bitch with a degree. Yeah. The yeah. baddest bitch. Yeah. The mm -hmm. baddest bitch with a degree. Yeah. I'm not going to lie already. Like, why is she chewing her gum like that? Just chew with your mouth closed. Come on now. What uh, college did you graduate? USC. Mm. What she studied though, like it's okay. I mean, going to college is good, but like your major matters. <laughs> like your major matters. I wonder what she studied. She do like business, you know, some, some, you know, you can't just do whatever. Like you're just wasting your time in college. I wonder what she did. No junior colleges. <laughs> it's heavy shit going on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So with college, a lot of experiences happen. Uh -huh. You meet a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Some might work, some might not work. Uh -huh. So have you ever had a one night stand in college? Oh. Don't lie. Cause God Yo, they lying. took no time right into it. It gets spicy. I like it. I like the energy. I know you might God be in whatever situation you win. You gotta keep it a buck. You was in college, you was young, you might have not been as smart as you are now. I like I've it. always been smart, baby. Oh, okay. So what happened? You might have liked him a little more than other niggas. Yo. But I will say, unfortunately not. You're not about to lie like that. I'm, not, I'm not lying. No, I'm, I'm not gonna I'm, lie. I believe her. I believe her. I don't think she, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's like, like, I feel like pretty girls don't really do stuff like that. Like, I don't know, like, not saying that, <laughs> like, I don't know, like, I feel like, you know, girls like her, like, pretty girls, like, they don't really do stuff like that, unless, like, you know, their friends are like that. If their friends are like that, then they might get influenced to, you know, do some wild stuff like that, but most of the time, like, they're, like, quiet, you know, like, you know, laid back in their books, you know? I'm, I've always been in a so relationship. I yeah, I believe no, it. I've always been in a relationship. Faithful, cancer shit. Cancer mm, shit. I believe yeah. it. Fuck with Ain't no cancers. other cancer than you fuck with cancer. <laughs> yeah. Why you fuck with cancer? They just know how to treat you. They bring the good sides out of you. Oh, okay. Up. So when so did you meet a cancer in your life? I shit. think it's time to take a oh. shot. Oh. So they were they dated before? Like, oh that's kinda that's kinda mmm. Would you mmm but they're in a the business because I was gonna ask, like, would you let 
would you let your like let's say you're in a business right where like you know your girlfriend or your boyfriend has to interact with might have to interact with their ex at some point because of you know the business that they're in would you be okay with that because i think i'm assuming that that's his ex would you be okay with that like you know that you know they're having an interview or they have to be in the same room or they have to interact with each other you know things like that because he he kind of brought that up like oh i like cancers <laughs> that was slick though that was slick let me know let me know in the comments though that was spicy take a shot if you love yourself take a shot if you love yourself but i got a question yeah i'm gonna start with sweetie does raw sex equal the relationship mm -hmm. at that point when you have raw sex mm -hmm. we go together it. fuck is you talking about the boss? yeah i'm not gonna lie once you go that route like first of all Nah, for, like once you go that route, like it's different. Like you, nah, you're like you're risking stuff. So you have to be like that. That has to be your person. Like nah, let's see what she says. Sex? Raw sex, what not is that? the wrong sex. What is that? Yeah, that? Hey, no condom. We know about no to do that. <laughs> skin. We know about Naked. to do that. Nickel. So ties is skinny involved. Skin. Yeah, man. Skinny skin. Skinny skin. Are y'all in a glove. relationship yeah. after that? No glove. Yeah, what you think? I feel like we already in a relationship if we took it there. Mm. I'm, not just, letting, I'm just not letting some random nigga hit me. Period. Period. Mm. Period. So we already we already once in like once it's a relationship. Yeah, my nigga. Mm. First of all, <laughs> it's a it's a privilege I mean, it to already get the cool kit. Period. And then it's another privilege. To smash me raw, so Big yeah, privilege. We, it's okay. privilege. She said it's a privilege to smash her raw. Mm. It's I'm a privilege to smash me. Period. <laughs> if it's your ex, yeah, I used to have raw sex forever. Mm -hmm. I broke up, mm -hmm. and now y'all get back together. Mm. Yeah, yeah, protect each other after that. No, yeah. Nah, it, like it depends, like what the other per, you know, what your ex was doing. Like that's why you gotta, you gotta ask him from the jump. Like, what were you, like if you guys having to get back together, like what were you doing, like? Like be honest, what were you doing? And then based on the answer, you you know, you know how to you know how to move. But like, you know, me everybody knows me. Like, once you once you once you do like once you do something else, like it's raps. There's, there's no going back from that, to be honest. That's just me though. But everyone's different, so they might, you know, they might still, you know, do what they gotta do. But me, nah, I'm not going back after that. At least she's keeping it a hundred. Take a shot to keep it a hundred. Hey, yo, this is how the show is. I've never watched the show. Like, I don't know if this is always how it is, but like, it's crazy from jump, and it's all females except for the host. The host are like two men. So is it always like this? Like the audience is always females? Let me know in the comments. Like I've never watched this before, but this is lit. That's what about you? <laughs> huh? Hold on. <laughs> Just what about you? It's your ex. You had real sex. I'm going skin. Yeah. You going raw? Okay. There you go. Cool. Okay. So At least he kept it a hundred. What's the most embarrassing thing that ever happened to you during sex? <laughs> Yo. I don't even... Let's yeah. He might have caught a crib and, yeah. and lift that. That laugh is not it though. I don't know what it is, but that laugh is kind of corny. But that dick wasn't working. <laughs> the most embarrassing the thing that happened to Sweetie during sex. You will never forget the it. The limp. You call your homegirls, you put it in a group chat. Mm. And he's canceled forever after that. Wait, that he did or I did? Both of y'all. Either, either or. Okay, so as women, like maturing women, um, when you start to get experience, you don't know your body is capable of certain yeah, things. Yeah, women's body can do the craziest stuff. Like, and then sometimes it'll catch you off guard. You're like, oh, what's going on here? I mean, all I'm saying is that it just, it, it, it sounds like a, like, you know, sometimes you, you shock yourself when your shit starts making sounds and beatboxes and beats and shit. Um, yeah, <laughs> shit was better than you thought it was. <laughs> Nah, the way, the way, the way Justin, Justin Combs is looking at her, yo, nah, if I was Quavo, this is why I asked that question, like, how would you, if I was Quavo, but she's not, she's not paying him no mind, which is respectful, like, so far, like, she's being respectful, like, she's not paying him no mind, but the way he's, like, the way he's looking at her, like, caressing his, like, his little chin here, like, 
Mm, he's he's reminiscing. That's what I'm t talking about. Like they already had a history, so now like they're talking about stuff like this. So he's reminiscing on like, come on, like I mean you you have actually you, you see her or whatever. Like you're probably, you guys are talking about certain things. You're gonna think about certain situations. Like, whew. Shit. And Shout for all Quavo. my young girls who's tuning in, that's regular. That just means it's mm -hmm. super splishy, splashy. So, yeah. <laughs> and an example, if you're ever single again. Mm. And a regular working man wants to get your attention. This is this is the stuff that Kevin Samuels is talking about. Let's get into it. Oh, no. no. Hold up. No, no. Listen. What's the minimum a, Listen, what's the minimum a man could make if you were single to date sweetie? That's a great question. What's the question. minimum salary a man could make for you to be like mm. I might consider it. Rich nigga, eight, it's nigga, eight. That's, that's what I'm saying. Eight. What it, what's, that's tight. what's the minimum Damn. you can make to even get to know you after this? The minimum? Minimum. Minimum salary a nigga could get to know sweetie. If, you were, what if do you, you were single. What do you count as a regular job? Mm, it might be a trucker. Man. Yeah, that's a fact. Like, what is, because now it's like, yo, what is a regular job? Like, first it was six figures. She's talking about eight figures. Like, a lot of people, it takes time to make eight figures. Like, people can, you could do it. Like, don't get me wrong. You could do it. But it takes time. Like, but uh, in our, it seems like in our generation now, like, you know, the 20 year olds, you know, the 20 to yeah, and that is 20 to 30 year olds, that range, like, they, like, it's like females expect, not all, obviously not all, but they expect you to be making ridiculous amount of money in a short amount of time. Like, like the people that are making this crazy amount for one, like, for example, Justin Combs, his dad is a billionaire. So obviously his dad's going to pass him some bread, you know, so he's going to, his path to, to, to making seven figures, eight figures is a lot, a lot shorter, like. Whereas someone coming from zero to to six figures or to seven figures to eight figures, like that's gonna take time. But because everything is, you know, everything is so quick nowadays because of the internet, everyone expects you to be making seven figures right out of college. Like, how realistic is that? Like, and it's just crazy. Like, the people that are making this amount of money, they're old heads. They're like in their forties, fifties. Like, come on, crazy. Uh, One hundred thirty thousand a year. <laughs> Wow, hold up. You he said 130000 a year, and she said, and then the other girl was like, she's too cute for that. That is, that is a, that is good money. Like, great money for like, I'm disrespecting, like, that is great money. What is she talking about, bro? This is, Does this count hard working men? Nah, I, I, nah, that's a yeah. fact that you can't do that. No, hard. I'm just saying, but I'm, but I'm harder. asking she's her. But I'm asking her. What if she her. got more opportunities and, right. and just she's like made it before him? What's the minimum what salary you're what willing to pay? What if he's grind his way and he done come up? When he come up, come get me. Oh, oh my God. God. Come get me. No, like, no. If I grind, like, if I grind, if I, I'm grinding, like, bro, I am not, like, you're gonna have to be up. You're gonna have to be grinding with me. That's how I feel. Like, if I'm going through this this struggle, nah, I'm not just gonna be. I'm gonna. I'm already. People that know me, I'm already like very cautious, like and very like. I take my time with stuff. So if you're not if you're not in the path with me, if you're not you know with me while I'm grinding, like it's just gonna get harder because I'm already like pretty tough on myself. So it's just gonna get harder. Like so, nah, I'm not coming getting nobody, bro. None. It's uh nah. What's your name? When he come up, come get me. Brittany speaking facts tonight. When he come up, come get me. Big Brit. Oh my god. We got a segment called Truth or Shot. Either you're gonna tell the truth or you're gonna take a shot. Ladies in the crowd, y'all go with that? Yeah, let's get it. Listen, God is watching. I wonder if that's a real life, because some girls just have they just do try to do cute lives or whatever. I like the real lives, like laugh, like <laughs> laugh from your stomach type thing, you know? That's like. Tch. So if y'all laugh, <laughs> it, can, <laughs> it, can get, it can get really bad for y'all, you know what I'm saying? Calm with, you know what I'm saying? Don't do that. Yeah. Ladies, y'all gotta be real with me though. The Jays are fire though. Listen, have y'all ever Force. talked to the wrong friend at first? Yes. And then, yeah. yeah, hold on. Yeah, what if it is a. <laughs> you didn't let me talk. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. <laughs> One mic, one mic. <laughs> it was like clubhouse, one mic, one mic.
You ever yeah. talk to the wrong friend at first <clears throat> and then spent the block? Yeehaw! <laughs> <laughs> so that's a normal. The audience is even. The audience is funny, bro. Damn. Damn. Have you ever block. spent the block on the richer friend? Because mm. y'all found out the nigga y'all chose was broke. I'm gonna start with the crowd yeah, first. Who wants to answer first? I need a toxic answer though. Okay, like I don't know about richer, but necessarily like if you So you're gonna deal with the broker friend? No, I'm no. not dealing with the broker friend. So what are you but, talking about? Oh but that's not why I spit the so ball. So you got a good personality. Because he just wasn't better. better. Your, your friend was finer. His bigger. Oh. No. Hold up, talk about it. Nah, you see, like, yo, that is first of all, I'm not even mad at her. Like, the female, like, I'm not even mad at her. Like, from the bros perspective, like that's grimy like that's grimy so like for like that it just messed up so i wouldn't even, personally like i wouldn't even be mad at the girl like and vice versa like i wouldn't be mad at the girl like i i just i'd be mad at the person that like i felt like my bro like yo you that's kind of grimy so i but I, I know how to move now type like you know like i just i'll just take it to the chin and be like right, i know how to move now you know but that is grimy bro what's for that part <laughs> So you would deal with the broker? No, bigger earth. Bigger, bigger earth. I heard what you said, but you gotta deal with the yeah. broker nigga who does nothing the for you. Nigga. The, the, nigga the bigger nigga. The bigger. You know? Talk about. Oh, oh my crazy. god. <laughs> these are the same like, and then girl like these kind of the, these are the girls that would be like, why can't I find someone that wants to marry me? Like, look at what you look at how they acting. <laughs> Take a shot. I need a shot. Yeah, I need. I need a shot. I need a shot. What's going on? Please. Cheers, cheers. 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 I'm gonna take a shot. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I feel like everybody just stole this drinking with like asking questions and drinking from uh from drink champs. Like I don't know. Like I feel like like I knew. I, it, the first people I, I like I saw like I was that I used to watch that were doing this was be, like drink champs, and then it seems like everyone started doing it like. Oh, ask the question. Like, oh, let's take a shot to this. Dream Champs started this wave. I mean, hopefully they gave him they gave him props though, but Love. let them get their shots, please. I mean, she hit it right on the nail. So though. you feel the same way she Absolutely. felt? That's not a shot, bro. He took a sip of that. Like, what's go? He took a sip of that. Yo, drink the whole thing, bro. Be a man. Drink the whole thing. I'm listening. I mean, <laughs> tell your story. We listening. God is watching. Uh oh. I mean, I get it. You know, sometimes. Sometimes what? You meet someone right. and yeah. after six months or eight months you meet someone you else and be like, Oh y'all know each eight other. Eight months. Oh, no. oh, 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 we gotta take a shot to that. Take a shot to that. What's the most Oh okay, I I see what she's saying. Like if you if if you were messing with a uh, oh, if you were messing with a dude, like or you were messing with a female and like throughout that time you were messing with them like that person, one of the friends, was never around. You never met them, but you don't know anything about them. Then, like she said, eight months, six months, eight months down the line, you end up meeting that person's friend, but you don't know that they're friends, and you end up clicking with them, blah blah blah. And whatever happens, happens. And then you later, like then you later on find out that that is their friend. That's I don't think that's grimy. I personally don't think that's grimy because you didn't know. Like you, you can't be faulted for something that you don't know. But now, if you do know, that's what I'm talking about. That's grimy. Respectful shit that a nigga did to break your heart, and it was the last straw. Mm. Like he changed. Hold on, hold on. It was your last. Like you become emotionally unavailable because of that person. Mm. Um, I think just lying. It's the principle. But, but they lied about what, though? Oh, I think it's best if I just keep that to myself. Mm. You no, know, I want to know your story, though. It's a safe place. <laughs> you got to get into this. <laughs> hold up. We're not about to let you just walk yeah, free of this. It's a safe place. Me, it. Let's hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. It's just me and her here. Yeah, I don't like liars. OK, take a shot. Mm. We appreciate you. Yeah. We appreciate yeah. you. Nah, I feel that. Yeah. I feel that, like. You keeping it super sexy tonight. We get what's going on. Just I might have to start with you. I feel that though. Like I, I feel that. I, like me, like, I don't know. Like I, I tell how it is. Like I'm fairly straightforward. People that I'm fairly straightforward. Like you're dealing with me, you're gonna know like how I'm thinking. And then if you, you know, but it, obviously I'm not gonna disrespect you. Like I, I, I respect everyone. Everyone I deal with, I respect. So 
Like, if you're close to me, I'm going to respect you. So, I like, so if you lie to me, it just breaks the trust, honestly. Oh, man. Listen, you my brother, so don't lie to me. You know right, what I'm saying? Everybody me. else talk might to lie to me talk in this world, me. but you know what I'm saying? It's different between us. Yeah, talk to me. What's the craziest thing you ever did to get a woman back mm. in your life? You know what I'm saying? You loved her that much. You really just... Love is a strong word. Like, I don't know why people throw that word around, man. Shit, love is a strong word. I don't throw that thing around, bro. You need a hunt in your life that, you know what I'm saying? You might have fucked you up. You cannot, your... like, I mean, I don't know. But I'm, like, I, you, there's only so many, there's only so much love you can give someone like you. So you can't just be, like, I probably, like, shit. You didn't know no better at the time. Be careful with that word, So love. you just did something crazy that's unlike you to get her back. Long what story short. No, 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 no. Make a long story long. <laughs> Fuck a bitch up. You're not making shit short here. Tell your story, be vulnerable. If you gotta cry here, I'm gonna hug you tonight. Yeah. Talk about that shit. You know what I'm saying? Run it back like if it was that day where you where you went black. All right, listen, so I'm in the Yams, right? The Yams is Miami, if yeah. you don't know. Oh, Get into a disagreement with my shorty. A disagreement? What was that disagreement, my brother? I forget. Oh, I know you're talking about. She you remember, but you. Yeah, listen, she ended up leaving. I don't know where she's at, so I'm just looking. So she left you for no reason. At. Are you gonna take nah, accountability? It was tonight? definitely a reason. It was a reason. So what was that reason? You my brother. You my brother. I you was here. outside too much, and I wasn't supposed to be outside that much. Okay, so you like to party. You like to be in other it. women's faces. Yeah, I, you I, didn't I, appreciate I was the queen you had at home. I was older. Yeah. You you texting other women. You following I back on social on media. Damn. Trying you, to bury you me. Might, <laughs> yeah. sir, bury me. All right, so look. Okay, cool. So you was wrong. You yeah. admit that part. Okay, cool. So I'm on the search looking for her. End up finding out what hotel she at. Finesse the front desk, man. Get the key. So I'm in that bitch. So I Are get you, that. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's different. That front desk man could have got fired. Facts. Yeah, but he did Are you going to pay a salary ticket? You, nah, yeah, he, he good, he good, for you. he good. So I'm in there. I go in there ready for war. I'm like, yo, I don't know what I'm about to walk into. Like, she gonna be with somebody else. Like, what's she doing in there? I walk in there, she not there. It's just She's cold. not there? But listen, I, listen. I'm searching the whole city. That's I the type waited, of nigga I am. I waited till she came back. Ooh, and then she came with me and we was out. What's the craziest thing a man ever did to get you back? I mean, yeah, that's, for granted. I don't know, for that. I feel like that's borderline crazy, but I'm not crazy. I. I'm not, I don't really get, like, everyone has a jealous, like, jealous moments, but I'm not really a jealous person. I don't really get crazy like that, like, stuff like that. I don't think I would do. Like, I don't, I, like, honestly, I, I do not think I would do that, but you you don't know until you know, so, you know, still a lot of life to live, you know, hopefully, so. That's crazy, though. <laughs> That's crazy. He cheated, he was disrespectful, he did everything wrong, but at that moment when he realized he lost you, he might have just beat another nigga up. Mm. Beat another beat his in front ass of you? up. Beat his ass up. He beat somebody else in front of you? Yeah. What if he <laughs> lost that? <laughs> Yo! Oh no! Oh, no. Yo, listen. Yo, listen. <laughs> These girls are crazy. Like these girls are wild. Like I'm not taking none of you. Like none of these girls from my parents' house. Like they're not meeting none of my family. That's a fact. Like. Yeah. Girls so what's the wild. craziest thing a man ever did to get you back in their life? They fucked up. They knew you was the prize. <laughs> You know, when niggas fuck up, you gotta put them on ice, right? Right. Ooh, what type of ice? Mm -hmm. Ice is good. Ice. Take a shot to that. Put them niggas on ice. ice. You know, money talk. So, um. Did he have a lot of money to talk how you wanted to talk? Look, I woke up, I got a notification from my bank, and you know, there was just enough money to buy several properties. Oh, mm. oh, oh. Oh, what he do to send that? What wire? did he do to? What did you do to make? <laughs> yeah. Look, money talk. I'm a businesswoman. Mm. Oh my god. Nah, bro. <laughs> Yo, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I never like. I don't really know Sweet. Like, I I, I know she's a rapper. Like, but I I don't really know her songs. But this interview so far, bro, she's just getting. She's rubbing me the wrong way. Like, there's no way. Like, but then again, I mean, I'm not. You know. Money-wise, me and her are not on the same table. Like, you know, 
she's a couple notches up, you know? So, but nah, the way she, her, like, you know, they say, they say money just, I mean, she was never like this. She went to college, but they say money just, you know, it doesn't change you. It just amplifies the person that you already are. So she was always like this and like, it just, ugh. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. And <laughs> time is money, so don't waste my my, my time. Mm. Oh my God. So when he That's wasted real. your time, you build him. <laughs> Set the invoice. Set the invoice. She's not invoice. talking. To, <laughs> she's not talking too much. <laughs> she says several properties. Gosh. Nothing like a cancer woman. A lot of women out there. All right, here we go with the signs, bro. Nobody cares about the signs, bro. I care about a person. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna meet you and be like, "What's your sign?" No. Who don't ask men for money because. They might be too prideful. Yeah. They don't know how to ask the proper way. First of all, so ladies. niggas get nothing from them. <laughs> niggas get nothing from them. So Serena's gonna tell you how to ask. Ima them. Ima imagine like, imagine like, uh, like women, women, not all but women. Like some women would be like, yeah, send me money, do this, do this. Imagine like, if you could ask your like, your lady, like, yo, can I, you know, can I, you know, you take care of the bill or can I borrow whatever, and like, it's you don't feel like. You don't feel like less of a man because you're asking or you don't feel less like a man. That's a right. That's the right one. Like she's she's probably like I mean, like she's the right one like to be dealing with. Like these other females like, oh, take care of me, do shower me, blah, 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 do all this, do all this. But I'm not doing anything for you. You take care of yourself. That is not who you should be dealing with. You should be dealing with a it's a partnership. It's like it's a partnership. You take care of me, I take care of you. Like if I'm if I if I'm having my downfall or whatever, you 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 pick us up and vice versa type of thing. And then if, we, if we're both, you know, balling, like, we we ball together. <laughs> like, it's like that. Simple. But this is all, like, take care of me. But take care of me and I'm not going to take care of you. Like, this that whole mentality that is seeming like it's in our society now. Like, it's just, it's weird to me, but. A man for money, the most respectful way. One mic, one mic, one mic, one mic. I'm too proud. Sweetie, stop. Clubhouse. First of all, ladies, don't ever be scared to ask for no money. Period. Okay. Because, like. It's hard I mean, it's just we're women and we got How coochie. First mm. of all, coochie. but second of all, respectfully, <laughs> respectfully, respectfully, you always gotta be cute about it though. You know, like you know, babe, I need some groceries. I wanna go shopping. Yeah. Like, you gotta set it up. You don't just flat out and ask for it. Mm. You gotta set it up nice and cute. Yeah. Do y'all take y'all man shopping though? Like, are yes. supposed to just oh, take y'all shopping? Like, that's a good question. Nice things or like. Why do why do boyfriends want to be treated like girlfriends? Now? Oh. oh my gosh, bro! I want to be treated like your partner. Like, like what is why why are we? It's oh god! I'm not. Why is it that it's 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 equality up to a certain point? Like, if we're if we're equals, why can't you treat me how I treat you? I don't get that. Like, treat me how I treat you, or tr like. That's how this how I feel. I would feel like this. I don't honestly I don't even know who I learned this from. But I treat people how I want to be treated. Simple as that. I'm gonna treat you how I want to be treated. Obviously I'm gonna make mistakes and I and I strive to learn from those, but I'm gonna treat you how I wanna be treated. This whole thing is like treat him like what is she talking about? Like you're not gonna you're not gonna spoil your man too. Like this is what I was just saying this, like oh, no, time out. Yeah, like, take a shot. Man? Why do boyfriends want to be treated like girlfriends? Mm. I don't like that disrespect, that Josh. I'm gonna ask you, what's the huh. most thoughtful gift you ever got for a man? You know what I'm saying? It wasn't about money, obviously. You got uh, this is her. You in a great space. I mean, she's a pretty girl, but she's ugly to me. Like, like when I say that, when I say she's a pretty girl, but she's ugly to me, I mean like personality, bro. Like, she should just stop talking. Like, the more you speak, and your personality is just that, like that bad like i don't know how else it's just it just makes you uglier to certain people i mean some people still mess with her but i'm not but there's no way this kind of like there's no way i'm bringing this type of person to my to, to my parents house none what gift you ever got for me um well before i start that okay. um let me just clarify something i'm listening because men deserve to be spoiled right mm -hmm. so you spoil you let's talk about it okay but hear me out so men want you um, to give up the coochie. They want you to have First the babies, mm -hmm. but then they also want- These are stuff that men can't do themselves. That's the, like for one, the, like you, that is part of like, that part of your body is a female part. Like just like we have our male parts. Having babies is something that women can, only women can do. Like, 
And first of all, you also, yes, you also need, like, there are women that want, like, women also want babies. Like, like let's not make it seem like, oh, men are the only ones here that want babies. And, and there's some women that, there's some women that don't want babies, but let's not make it that, oh, it's only men that are looking for babies here. So you need part of our, <laughs> you need all, some of our, our, our things, and we need you to do cer certain things. But we didn't make women, like, come on, like, if you believe in God, like, you were made how you were made, so yes, you would have to carry the baby. I don't see wh why we're debating, like, why we're making this a crazy. I want you to match his bag. That mm. requires working all day. That requires hustling the same way. Okay. Right. So, like, agree. him coming home, asking for some coochie, some dinner, and a baby, and then... Nah, okay, if, he, if, he's, if he's asking, like she said, like, if he's like, oh, I need you to have the same amount as me, you know... That like she said, it's gonna take work. But if you have a respectable, respectable, respectable man, God's gonna say that word. You're gonna, they're gonna be, they're gonna be, they're gonna, there's going to have to be some compromises, compromises. Meaning that she can't be cooking all the time. You gotta, you're gonna have to split that. Like you're gonna have to split it. If you have kids, you're gonna have to split who takes who to to soccer practice or takes who to basketball practice. Blah 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 types. You know. Like you're gonna have to like really split the workload based on everyone's availability. Like that, you work with that. Like it's gonna be 50 50. But now, if he's the breadwinner, really is the breadwinner, and or vice versa, she could be the breadwinner too. But if he's a breadwinner and she's not really doing too much, she has more time or on her hands. Not saying that she should, he shouldn't help, but she should take on a little bit more because he he's do, he's doing more to bring in more bring in money into the house. Like, if they're not, but if they're, like she said, if they're equal, like, meaning, like, they're making the same money, they're, they're limited on time, you have to work with both people's schedules. You have to split things in half or, you know, to, 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 to really benefit both parties. But this is when you speak to your partner, like, simple as that, communication. Huh? Like, what's so, right? what's so hard with that? You want to be spoiled on top of that? Let, let's be a realistic I'm listen, though. I'm just, I'm yes. Sometimes a, a man has like, to be. What is wrong being like, like even with splitting the work? Like, yes, I want, I, I want to feel like my girlfriend or my wife loves me too. Like, but what is wrong with that? Like, what is wrong with just like because the, it's, it's not about the. I mean, I, I feel like for her, it's really about the gift, like and the money. Like, but for most women, it's not about the gift. It's about like. The thought, like, you know, like you can give, like, if you're dealing with the right woman, like, you can give her, like, a well-made, handcrafted thing, and she will love that shit. <laughs> love it. Like, love it. It doesn't have to do anything with money. If you give, if you're dealing with the right person, that's why you gotta be, you really gotta be careful who you deal with, because, like, then you run into these people like this, and they'll, they can, they can ruin it for you. Like, ruin it, your image of certain women or certain, or all women or all men, because, like, you deal, you, you run into some person like this, and you're like, What's good with you? Like, what's up with you? Or is for a queen. I'm just listening. I don't want to talk about <laughs> I know that's nothing. right. All I'm saying is, I mean, it's cool to spoil your man, but come on now. We deserve to be spoiled 24-7 because of what we can offer. But when it comes to giving gifts, just... I am a gift giver. Mm. Okay. You know, I did, you know, give someone the Richard Millie that cost, you know, mm. you know. That's all your money. A Richard, hell yeah, what mm -hmm. else? Ain't no loan money. What mm -hmm. Don't play. I, I personally feel like what nigga deserves a rich Like what could a nigga have done for you to deserve a rich I mean, I get Bentley shopping spree. Mm. Uh private jets. Period. Um, Birkin bags. Period. Um, Is that the that's one of them? Yeah, one of my Birkin bags. Talk your shit. Good green. Yeah, so Good if so if you team. spoil me the right way, I'm gonna spoil you back. But you gotta spoil me first. Respectfully. Yes, yeah, respectfully. That is not that is not how it works. Like it's not about who does it first, it's just how you feel. Like you like you feel like you wanna spoil someone, you do it. You're like you're not doing it like it's just like it's a gift. Like you're not giving a gift to get one back. You're giving it to show appreciation. Simple as that. Like you're not giving it to get one back. Like if you're if if that's your purpose of giving the gift, don't give the gift. Simple. I don't want the gift. <laughs> respectfully. 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 That's okay. No, yeah. it's not. Like mm -hmm. come on, bro. Like, I speak nothing but facts. But this this is not a this is this is these are not facts, bro. But they he, they know her. He's trying to probably, he's probably trying to be respectful and like. <laughs> what the fuck is you talking about? Dang, boy, you're pressing real hard right now. Who, me? Oh. <laughs> nah, I'm just asking a question I want to know. Oh, it's you're okay. You're not going to answer? I'm She's sorry. ducking face. Right, you're not you asking too hard. Don't, don't believe that. 
Right. I don't know what you asked. Do you believe a cheater can change? Or once a cheater, always a cheater? Let's start with that. I believe a cheater can change. <laughs> what? I hate to do that. And why is that? How can he change that? Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. If you stop, I'm going to stop. It's dangerous. Yeah. I'm scared of you. Listen, mm. this is the shoot. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not, you know, I'm, I don't believe in the cheating, man. You might as well just leave when you know you're about to do that, you know? But I'm all about, like, you know, I'm all about, like, not putting myself in certain situations. Like, if I feel like, if I feel as though a situation is going to be dangerous, like, I, I remove myself from that situation. That's how I feel. Like, people that are celebrities, like, people that are in the limelight, you know, that are just getting things thrown to, like, towards them, it's definitely more difficult, like, because you have to be in certain situations, but you just got to, you just got to try your best to move the right way, like, just... If you're dealing with someone or you're you're married, like don't put yourself in situations that you know could be could be deadly. Like if you're getting lit, don't get too lit so you can know what you're doing. Like you know, still have fun, but you know, because people will try to take advantage of you and then use that to monetize off you. <laughs> like it's just simple. That's just how it seems like it's gone. So just uh, right now, I just I feel as though like now I've always felt like this. I don't put myself in situations that just I feel personally could be bad for me like so that's how i that's how i move shoot your shot segment of the show shoot ladies me. i need every woman in here to chime in but we're gonna start off with sweetie how right? do they even pick the audience on the background mm -hmm. ladies if you are ready in a relationship and your man is doing everything he's supposed oh this to is the one that went viral mm -hmm. respecting you loving you etc cetera, etc cetera. Mm -hmm. But one thing on his wish list is he asked for a threesome. Mm. Hold on. Some of y'all fans of it, some of y'all not. That's a real question. Mm. Mm. Some, it happens. You go both ways. Yo. Oh, oh my God. Oh she crazy. God. I love the crowd. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. One mic, one mic. I love it here. Sweet. Is that love it here? Directly at you. Yes. If you're in a relationship and your man's doing everything he's supposed to, mm. he respects she's like you, praying. he loves you, he's doing everything he's supposed to, and he asks for a threesome, and you get to choose anyone in the world mm. to bring home this. for you. This is what went viral. Him. Right. Anyone, who would it be to give your man and you your dream threesome? Okay, he's Don't doing, lie. He's doing everything right. Everything right. Everything right. Everything right. Oh, he's been God. a perfect gentleman for you. She, like, yo, she, like for the yo. first time in your life, a nigga's doing everything right, but he just wants one threesome. Who's the dream girl to bring home to him to make all of y'all happy? Okay, so he said dream girl, though. That's good dick. It's all of that. That's good dick. Good. That's communication. Mm -hmm. Tongue in your butt. Picking up <laughs> the ball. <laughs> 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 sucking your toes. All right. Pay all your bills. Oh my oh, God. Oh, wow. And okay. you want to make him happy, finally. Because he, you put him through hell. So a threesome, right? You put him through a hell. A threesome, right, ladies? Right. Threesome. I normally talk to men who are cultured, who's been around the world, who know a lot of people. Right. Um, it's on you, though. You yeah, yeah, no, 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 I understand that. But because he's doing everything right, I'm going to give him the honor of picking the nigga who we're going to have a threesome oh with. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. What are you guys thinking about this? Let me know in the comments because this is that's a crazy answer. That is a crazy answer because he said she's first of all he said female like what female like then she just, then she I I I I know what she tried to do there like she kept because she was like threesome right threesome threesome doesn't mean a woman like it can mean a man too that's what she's trying to say but that's a crazy answer he's oh my god he's doing yeah, he's doing all this and you still can't wow but I get I get her point too like I get what she's trying to say like. But if she doesn't want to, I, I think she could answer this question way different. Like, because if she's not, like, she's, she, she probably doesn't want a threesome. Like, and if you're dealing with a man, let that be known. Like, she, talk, she was talking about communication. She did, she did not have to answer that question like that. That was mad disrespectful. And at this point, like, we know she's still dating Quavo. So, like, everybody's going to think it's Quavo. Like, and you're, ugh. Hold up. That's a what? Hold up. That is a crazy answer. No. Hold up. Let me talk now. Be, be game. 
Y'all mad? I'm on sleeve. Y'all mad? <laughs> that was a crazy answer. Y'all mad? A uh, woman and two men is a dream. That's a That's fact. not a three. No. Could you be with a man you make more money than? No. Hell no. That's a I fact. Let me know what you guys think. It's a, like, it, maybe I'm being biased, but is a woman and a man, a, a woman and two men a train or a threesome? Let me know in the comments. I don't know. Let me know. I don't know. Treat you amazing, but he was just broke. He was just a broke. I make more money than him. He's a regular family. nigga. What does that but mean? He like, loves you. I guess. I guess regular means what? He's not making eight figures. Like I guess that's what it means, right? Because I don't know what like is regular because if regular means average, then that means fifty thousand, right? Average average salary is fifty thousand. So anything above that is not average. But if in their book they're talking about seven eight figures, so I'm guessing the regular person is just someone that isn't making seven to eight figures, right? I don't know. Let me know what. Let me know in the comments. I don't really don't know. Broke is beast though. No, yeah. broke is beast. He, 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 he broke or he like but make he less money than me. He's bro he let me. A nigga make less money than him, right? <laughs> what? Should we say it again? Could you say it again? No. Could you date a man who makes less money than you at this point in your life after you worked your way? To where you're at. So, to be clear, is he broke or I make more more money than him? He's broke. He's broke. Yeah, but he loves you. He treats you like a queen. He does everything perfect, but he's broke. But I don't even be around those type of niggas. Yeah. 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 Yo, listen. It's a fact. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I see, I see nothing wrong with her saying that because the more you elevate, like you think Jay Z is around people that are, like on a block, like or like people that just you know, like no, like the more you elevate. Your circles are the people that you're going to be surrounded by, like the people that you're going to be around are going to change. So, like, for her, like, she was when she was in college, she was probably dating people in college, like, people were, people were in frats, and you know, people were in her in her college or whatever. Maybe she was dating rappers, I don't know. Um, and then the more she elevated, like, the more money she started making, the you know, the more rooms open, the more doors and rooms that opened up for her, then she was able to be around people. Up to the point where she met someone like Quavo, and she's gonna. The more she keeps elevating, she's gonna meet people that are probably either on the same level as Quavo or better. Like that's just how life works. Like the more you elevate, the more doors open. Simple. So I don't see nothing wrong with her saying that. Hold up, we're not about to let her off the hot seat. I think, I think with anything in life, you have to upgrade. Yeah. So now, so since I'm, my minimum is eight figures, I like to go up to nine. Is that answer mm. your question? It does. Oh my it does. God. Don't they gotta have a hundred million to get nah, this? Figure, nigga. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I gotta work hard for that. You gotta hey, upgrade. Listen, a lot of men, a lot of men don't have nine figures, so you're not gonna get next to Sweetie. And Sweetie expecting it. Crazy. <laughs> Yo, my gosh, bro. Please don't, please. Do not, this is not, this is not the girl that you might want to be taking to your parents, bro. Like, if it's, if she said it, money talks, like, bro, you want to be spending your money on somebody that only cares about your money? Come on now. I want to, I want to spend my money on someone that, like, it's kind of a, it's just a bonus, but it's not, it's not number one, it's just a bonus. You feel me? Like, that makes me want to, like, Explore because you could be shopping like you could be a target or Walmart or whatever and like that's how I feel like if I if, like, if I like I'll just see something oh my god I think like this you know this person I'm liking I get it like that like that, that and then you know you don't really think about oh I'm spending money but this is all about she it's like she's only wired like to think like money 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 and it's just kind of annoying to me and a child later this year or early 2022 I respectfully tell us Tell us, queen. Tell us, queen. Ew, no. You got to pay for Tell that us, information. Queen. Mm. You got to pay for that type of information. How much? We can talk on the side. Yo, listen. This was episode two of the Respectfully Justice Show on Revolt TV. We had our special guest, Sweetie, Sweetie, Sweets, um, a.k.a. She's expecting a baby twenty later 2021, early 2022. What's that? Queen Icy. Queen Icy. Queen Icy. Big you know, DDT, little niggas. Yeah. Shit me. Thanks for coming tonight. Thank yeah, thank you, you so much. We appreciate you. Let me know what you guys thought about this interview. I, I don't know. Her personality was kind of crazy to me, but please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy, Vaughn.